يفنى الكل ويبقاه ليس الباقي إلا هو الله 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 ما لي رب إلا هو الحمد لله we are in the month of Dhul-Qadah and indeed uh, the month uh, that is very blessed. Every month has a special blessing in it and special mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends in these months. And uh, alhamdulillah these months for us are even more blessed because in them many of the awliya Allah have journeyed into this here, into the hereafter to meet with the creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And yes, that is usually not a time of happiness and that is not a time that we celebrate somebody's death. But we remember and when the awliya Allah pass away, for us it is a sadness at that moment. But for them, it is a time of happiness because that is the time of liqa. It is the time when they meet with the creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And thereafter they become a means of special blessing for us in this dunya. Hence every year they are remembered during the time of their wisal and these days are commemorated and we take the blessings that they shower upon us at this time. And the pious servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the awliya Allah, they are very blessed and they are the very mubarak servants of Allah, whom Allah says in the Holy Quran about, Allah inna awliya Allahi la khawfun alayhim wa lam yahzanun. That beware, let, you, let it be known, that the beloveds of Allah, the friends of Allah, are those who have no fear, nor do they have any grief. They have no fear, nor do they have any grief. What does it mean? It means they have no fear for anything and anyone but Allah. Look at us today. How, how afraid people are, how afraid we are of this coronavirus. How afraid we are of this pandemic. How afraid we are that we will get sick and something will happen or we will die. How afraid we are that our families and our friends will become ill. It's a reality. We have to accept it. It's human nature. But the awliya Allah, they don't fear this. The beloveds of Allah didn't fear any of such any such thing because they knew that whatever and they believed very firmly that whatever happens is by the will of Allah. That is how strong the iman was, no matter what anybody said, but it was their yaqeen and it was the iman, and it should be the iman of every Muslim. That everything which happens happens by the will of Allah. Yes, you take the precautions, you do what you need to do, but everything is by the will of Allah. And the awliya Allah have this yaqeen and they have true fear in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hence they do not fear any in the creation they do not fear anything in the creation because their fear is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they have true fear for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is why they do not fear things in the dunya they do not fear the creatures of the world you hear so many waqiat of the awliya Allah walking into jungles and wilderness without anybody with them without any weapons in the hand. You see the mashayikh and the great ulama traveling the world, spreading the deen of Allah. Today, you look at the, look at the leaders of the world. Look at the presidents and the, and, and, and the prime ministers of the world. Because they are so well known and because they have position, they have to have so many bodyguards, such huge entourage of bodyguards. But you look at the great mashayikh. You look at the great mashayikh. I'll give you an example. Take huzur sayyidi sarkar e taj sharia radiyallahu anhu murshid e kareem whose urse sarapa quds is in the next few days may allah shower hazrat's blessings upon us abundantly and you take huzur e sayyidi muhaddith e kabir whose beloved father whose beloved father huzur e sayyid sadr sharia radiyallahu anhu was marked last night in ghosi sharif subhanallah look at the pious servants of allah huzur e taj sharia radiyallahu anhu was how famous hazrat in the in the eyes of the world and is Subhanallah, in the eyes of Allah, in the, in the, in the sight of Allah, in his Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And hence, in the hearts of the people, the world knows who Taju Sharia is. But Huzure Taju Sharia Radilam spent his entire life making rad of bad mazhabs. His entire life he spoke against the enemy of Allah and his Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Without any fear for anybody. But have you ever heard that Huzure Taju Sharia had an entourage of bodyguards? Have you ever heard that he took an army with him who went of bodyguards to protect him? No, no, no. Look at Huzur Mahadith Kabir. Who Huzur Mahadith Kabir speaks openly against Badmazhabs? He speaks openly against the Munafikin. How many people are the enemies? But you do not find them going with bodyguards anywhere. What is the reason for that? Why? Because they follow and they are the true pious servants of Allah. They are the true pious servants of Allah. They are the beloveds about whom Allah is saying, La khawfun alayhim. That in this dunya too they won't have khawf and in the akhirat too they will be free from khawf. In other words, Allah's rahmat will be upon them. At that time they will not have to fear the azab of the akhirat. They will not have to fear the fire of hell because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent His mercy upon them. These budurgani din, without any fear, any fear you see them going. Without any fear you see them uh, traveling the world from corner to corner. What is this? This is because of khawf khuda. 
because they fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why the Quran is saying, لا خوف عليهم ولا يهزنون And they do not grieve. In other words, they do not grieve for the dunya. They do not grieve for the dunya. The grief that they have is for Allah. The, the, the sadness that they have is because of the, 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 the love that they have for Rasulullah Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That they are yearning for Allah's uh, closeness and they are yearning for the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is their grief. This is their, the gham that they have. But not gham for the dunya. This is the, 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 this is the thing with the beloveds and this, 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 this beloved friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why we have to keep a very strong bond and a very strong connection to them. If we keep our bond and our connection mazboot with them, then insha'Allah azim in this dunya too we will be kamyab and in the akhirah too we will be kamyab, insha'Allah azim And let me tell you something, you know why the awliya Allah, when they go anywhere, they are the, 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 they don't need an entourage, they don't need this uh, security guards to protect them. Do you know why? Because it is because of them that Allah protects the others. Where they go, Allah protects the others because of them. So in reality, they don't need the security. They are the security by the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are our security. They are our guarantees. In this dunya also, and in the akhirat also, by the hukm of Allah and the sadqah of Rasulullah Pak sallallahu alayhi wa they will be our shields and our protectors on Maidan and Mahshar. By the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, as I was saying, this month of Dhul Qadr is very blessed month and marks the Ur Sharif of many great personalities, amongst whom are Sayyidina Imam Bakr radiallahu anhu. Now, who is Imam Bakr radiallahu anhu? Imam Bakr radiallahu anhu is the son of Sayyidina Imam Zainul Abidin radiallahu anhu. Who is Imam Zainul Abidin? The son of Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiallahu anhu. Who is Imam Hussain? The son of Sayyidatana Fatima the Zahra and Mawla Ali radiallahu anhu and the grandson, the beloved grandson of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Sayyidina Imam Bakir radiallahu anhu is the son of Imam Zainul Abidin. And he is the father of Hadrat Sayyidina Imam Jafar al-Sadiq radiallahu anhu. Who? He is the father of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq radiallahu anhu. So his Ur Sarapa Quds is also in this month. Also Hadrat Sayyid Shah Bhikari radiallahu anhu is one of the great mashayikh of our Qadri Silsila. His ursa is in this month. Hadrat Sayyidina Shah Fazlullah Kalpi Radilan, also a very great shaykh of our silsila, Qadri silsila, also in this month. One of the great mashaykh of the silsila, Chisht, Hadrat Khaja Banda Nawaz Gaisu Daraz Radiallahu An. He is also ursa in this month. He was the murid and the, 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 the devoted uh, ashik and drowned in the love of Hadrat Sayyidina Khaja Nasiruddin Chiraq Delvi Radiallahu An. His waqiyah is mashur. Also marks the, 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 the Mubarak and the, uh, the, the Urs Mubarak of Hadr Bacha Arun Zeb Alamgir, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. Also, the Urs in this month is of the father of Allah, Hadrat Adimul Barkat, Hadrat Sayyidina Naki Ali Khan, Radiallahu Ta'ala, and who was a sea of knowledge, a personality who wrote only on two tafsir Alam Nashira, only on the tafsir of Alam Nashira, hundreds of pages, only on the commentary of Surah Alam Nashira. Imagine if he had to write the tafsir of the entire Quran, Azim, how voluminous it would have been. So, these, in this month, the great personalities. Also, Subhanallah, the Osh of Huzur Sayyidi Sadr Sharia that we have all just celebrated, and who is the great Khalifa of Sayyidi Allah Hadrat, Adimul Barakat radiallahu whose life was for the love of Allah and his beloved Rasul, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. The awliya Allah, and these are the pious servants of Allah. And subhanAllah, in this month also, the month, uh, the, the, on the eve of the seventh, after the day of the sixth, is the Ursa of our Murshid Kareem, the second Ursa of our Murshid Kareem, Huzur Sayyidi Taj Sharia, Rahbar Tariqat, Hadrat Allah Mufti Muhammad Akhtar Zahan, Al Qadri, Azhari, Radi Allah Ta'ala, and the Qudbul Aktab of this Zamana. So Alhamdulillah, by his, by the grace of Allah and His Rasul, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have been blessed. We have been blessed with taking the fuyuz and the barakat of these pious servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us with being connected to them. And if you remain connected to the pious, remember, if we remain connected to the pious in the dunya, then inshallah we will be connected to them in the akhirat as well. We will be connected to them in the akhirat as well. And this is very, very important for us to understand that if we are connected to them, these are the pious servants of Allah that Allah has put for our protection. Allah has put them in this dunya so that they may be means of guidance for us. I've said this many times. And the pious servants of Allah, la khawfun alayhim. They have no fear of anything. That is why Allah Hadrat Adimul Barakat, Imam Ahl Sunnat Radilan says that if you have no fear in the dunya, in other words, you truly fear Allah, then in the akhirat you don't have to fear. Why? Because first, if you want to be protected from everything, you must become the ghulam of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You must become the abd of Rasulullah pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You must become a slave at the sacred feet of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then all your worries will be gone. All your fears will be gone. All your calamities will be gone. All your difficulties will be gone. And that is why Allah Hadrat, Imam Ahl Sunnat, Mujaddid-e-Din-o-Millat, Parwana-e-Shamir-e-Salat, Ash-Shah, 
Imam Ahmad Raza Khan Fazl Barilvi Radiallahu beautifully says He says Khawfana rak Raza Zara Tu to hai abde Mustafa Khawfana rak Raza Zara Tu to hai abde Mustafa Tere liye aman hai Tere liye aman hai Oh Raza Don't have any fear Have no fear oh Raza Tu to hai abde Mustafa You are the slave of Muhammad Mustafa Have no fear oh Raza You are the slave of Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam For you there is salvation for you, there is salvation. For you, there is safety. For you, there is safety. What does it mean? It means that if you keep sincere connection, and if you keep strong and firm iman in Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and in those whom Allah has put here in this dunya for our means, and even after they travel from this dunya, if we remain connected to them, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us kamyabi in this dunya, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us kamyabi in the akhirat. This is something that we have to think about. Let us recite the Pak once. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyyina wa Lana Muhammadin, Tibbil Qulubi wa Dawaiha wa Afiyati la Badani wa Shifaiha, wa Nuri la Abskari wa Diyaiha wa Alihi wa Sahbihi wa Barik Salim, Daiman Abada. As I said, the pious servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have no fear. And these are the pious servants of Allah that Allah has, Allah has blessed them with such, such ruhaniyat. Allah has blessed them with such taqat that subhanallah they become the manifestation of the, of the, of the rays of the Anbiya Ikram alayhi musalat wa salam. They become the manifestation of the rays of the Anbiya Ikram alayhi musalat wa salam, the pious servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? And you will see this in the lives of of, of these beloveds of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these fearless servants who fear only the creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fear none other in the world. And that is what is called taqwa, to have fear for Allah. A Allah fearing person is a person who is muttaqi, is one who has taqwa. Okay? Now, these beloved servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have been blessed with this great excellence. And amongst them is Hazrat Sayyidina Imam Bakr radiallahu anhu. Hazrat, because it is the Urs, month of the Urs of Imam Bakr, and we've been talking about Huzur Sadr Sharia, mashallah, and we'll talk, we've, we've been, I've been giving many discussions, uh, many numerous discussions I've presented in, in the last few weeks about my Murshid Huzur Sayyidina Sharia. Today we want to talk a little bit from the example, examples from the life of Hazrat Sayyidina Imam Bakr radiallahu anhu, subhanallah, while we're in the shade of our mashaykh, that Hazrat Sayyidina Imam Bakr radiallahu anhu, the, amongst those personalities who didn't fear anything, and because of that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed them with special excellence. Allah blessed them with special excellence. And they could do and knew things. That is why the only Allah know things which you and I do not know. They see things which you and I cannot see. They are, they are given special assistance. They are given special assistance because the Quran says that those who are the true believers and the pious servants of Allah, they have the assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Rasul. And they have the assistance from the Malaika as well. So this is, you'll see this in the lives of these blessed personalities who fear none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, there's, a, there's one narration by Abu Basir. He says, I was once in the court of Sayyidina Imam Bakr radiallahu an, and I asked him, are you the representative, the here of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa In other words, are you the representative of the court of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? He said, yes. Abu Basir then asked him, if the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was, in, in the, he said to him, then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the here of all the Prophets. Alayhi wa wa sallam. The beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the here of all, and is the here of all the prophets. In other words, he's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All the prophets have received ambiya, the, 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 the nubuwad because of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's blessings. So he's their representative here and in the akhirat also. And he said, yes. So Abu Basir said, then you too are the inheritor of the knowledge from the court of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, I presume that is so. That is the humility. He said, I presume that is so. So Abu Basir now turned to him and said, can you bring the dead back to life? Can you cure the leper? Can you close, cause the blind to say, to see? Can you say what people eat in their homes and what they hoard? Now, he, think about what this, the question that he was asking to Imam Bakr, are the things which the Anbiya Ikram alayhi salatu salam did, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam did, other Anbiya Ikram alayhi salatu salam did this. They brought the dead to life, they cured the leper by Allah's hukum. Uh, they said to people what they hoarded in their homes. So this is the knowledge of the unseen, this is right. So he asked Hazrat Imam Bakr, do you know this? And he said, yes, we too can do this with the command of Allah. By the grace of Allah, we too can do this. We are able to do this. Subhanallah. So they become the, manif- the, manif- the manifestation of the rays of the jalwa of the Anbiya Ikram descends upon the, 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 the awliya, the beloved servants of Allah. And he said to him, yes, we can do this. He said to Abu Basir, we can do this. Then he said to Abu Basir, come close to me. Come close to me. Okay, so this personality... Okay, he was 
blind. The person who was asking these questions to Imam uh, Bakr was blind. He was blind. So Imam Bakr when he came near, Imam Bakr placed his hand over his face. And when he placed his hand over his face, you know what he says? He says, I began to see the sky. I began to see the earth. I began to see the mountains. Subhanallah, a person was blind for so long. He then said that Imam Bakr looked at me and he said, do you wish to remain seeing? And for your actions to be judged likewise by Allah, or do you wish to remain blind and attain Jannah in exchange for your blindness, as a reward for your blindness? He says, I said to Imam Bakr I want Jannah. I want Jannah. I want Jannah. He says, Imam Bakr then ran his hand over my eyes and once more I could not see again. So this is the taqat in the hands of Imam Bakr radiallahu anh. This is the power in the hand of Imam Bakr radiallahu anh. Don't, doesn't it make you think if this is the strength in the hand of Imam Bakr radiallahu anh, then what is the taqat in the hand of Imam Zainul Abidin radiallahu anh? What is the taqat in the hand of Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiallahu anh? What is the taqat in the hand of Mawla Ali radiallahu anh? And then what is the taqat in the Mubarak hand of the most powerful of all hands in the universe? The Mubarak hand of Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. These are the pious and the beloveds. This is, the, this, this, this is why they are Allah fearing. Because Allah has blessed them with this level of taqwa and fear that they do not fear anything else. They only fear their Rabb. And they've taught us important lessons. And I'm going to end today's discussion. It's a very brief discussion today. I'm going to end today's discussion for this Jummah with some very, very wise words of Sayyidina Imam Bakr radiallahu anh in brief to you. He said, no ibadat is greater than the protection of one's stomach from haram and one's private ordinance from doing haram. In other words, he said, what was he telling us? That before you stand in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, protect your stomach from haram. Protect your private parts from doing zina and from haram things. Because then when you stand in the court of Allah, you can stand content knowing that I'm standing purified in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, protected from all these other sins. What did he say? He further said, you should think of the world as a point where you get off and then pass. In other words, a transit point. He said you should think of the world as a transit, transit point. Or you should think of it as the kind of wealth that you dreamt of. And when you woke up, you had nothing. Not that something we dream about. We dream about keeping, not giving. He is saying, think of this world as a transit point and think of your wealth as that which you dreamt of. And when you woke up, you didn't have. Why is he telling us this? He's telling us this so you understand that don't attach yourself to the dunya. Don't attach your heart to the world. And then he goes further and he says, when the heart is filled only with the deen of Allah, then it removes all except the love of Allah. Subhanallah. When the heart is filled only with the deen of Allah, with the love of Allah's deen, then it removes all except the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, those with iman are not comfortable with the world. Those with iman are not comfortable with the world, as they know that it will soon come to an end. And they are not uninformed of the hereafter, due to the fear of the akhirat. Why? Because of the fear of Allah. And he said, and I'm ending with this one word, of one statement of Sayyidina Imam Bakr radiallahu anh for today. He said, poverty and thoughts of it pass in the heart of a mu'min. But when he reaches the level, level of tawakkul, having complete trust in Allah, then he immediately gains satisfaction. May Allah give us tawakkul, trust in Allah. May Allah allow us to trust Him. May Allah give us the tawfiq that we trust Him sincerely. So much so that we know that nothing happens without the will of Allah. May Allah bless us with Iman. Keep us in this world with Iman. And may Allah let us leave this world with Iman. We make dua for all those who are ill in Ahlul Sunnah. Allah grant them shifa. Those who have passed away in Ahlul Sunnah. Allah exalt them in Jannatul Naim. Do not forget, Urs of Huzur is Sayyidi Taj Sharia radiallahu on 28th of June. Sunday will be live from Bareilly Sharif uh, online. Because of the coronavirus, obviously the programs cannot be held in a physical manner. And there will be program, inshallah, in the Mazar of Allah Hadrat by the, the, the few members of the family, etc. But they will relay the program live from Bareilly Sharif, Urset Al Sharia, 28 June, Sunday, live from Bareilly Sharif. There are many messages will be going around about what the time and ex- the links, etc. for this. Please uh, follow it. And inshallah, Lazim, be part of that mahfil that is taking place from Bareilly Sharif. Inshallah, Lazim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us firm on Mazab Masab, Mazab Ahl Sunnat, Maslaki Allah Hadrat.